Hello everyone and welcome to another one of our leadership training videos. In these leadership training videos, over a few minutes, I take you through a few thoughts and ideas, one particular main theme to allow you to understand what it takes to be a more effective leader, how you can improve your own leadership skills, what the traits are that are needed, and how people can become more successful in their leadership journey. So whether you're a leader, a follower, an entrepreneur, sole trader, whatever it happens to be, I hope that this leaves you with some thoughts and ideas to improve your own journey. My name is Chris Igwe. I have over 35 years experience leading training and developing teams, primarily across Europe, Middle East and Africa, but in five major European markets where I've worked and developed teams. Now the intention is please feel free to like, share, comment, give me feedback, give me your thoughts. Your own experiences as well would be absolutely amazing. So what are we going to talk about today? Well, it's this particular topic. I want to encourage us to honor small victories. So I've done a little mountain, not the most, um, the most wonderful mountain that one can draw, but the principle is the same. This is where, so you're out here, we're out here as a team, a department, and we want to grow to that particular objective. We want to achieve a point where we plant a flag as our ultimate success point. And this can be high or it can be low, it can be hills, it can be whatever you want. The principle is the same. What I'm saying here is the idea is to celebrate along the way, along that journey, along that climb, which may be steep, it may be longer, whatever it happens to be. The principle is you're here, you're going to get there and you want your team, your company, your department, those you lead. You want them to be there when you all plant the flag together. However, along life's journey, along your team's journey, there are going to be moments when you need to stop and recognize what has been achieved up to that point. Now, I know you may say, well, that's obvious, if it is fantastic. But I know a lot of people whether my friends or others that I've seen how they operate for them, they've said to me, I will only reward my team once we achieve the objective, once we've got to where we want to be, because otherwise they become complacent or whatever. And I'll show you that that is totally counterproductive for reasons I will explain in a minute. So as you climb, whatever that journey is and that ultimate goal or objective you want to achieve, it's good to reward and indeed it's necessary to involve and then to reward people along the path. So I guess the first question is, well, contrary to those who don't do it, why would you do it? Why would you have these moments where you honor little victories? And I've listed some of them out here. Well, the first and most obvious one is team building. Build the team. You're, you're together in forms which I'll show you in a minute, but it's to build the team. And we all know how important team building is. It's a word that has been overused, especially in the 80s and 90s, when all sorts of things were team building. But team building in principle is incredibly important nonetheless, because especially in today's eclectic world, disparate world where different geographies, so companies have become wider, broader geographically, you work through Zoom or Maybe you meet once a year or not as frequently as perhaps you used to. So team building is a very important opportunity for us to come together as a group. It helps boost, boost morale. We all need a shot in the arm. We all need that moment where we're just, it's, the climb may be steep. We're falling back. We're not sure we're going in the right direction. A little bit of a boost is always good. It helps build confidence individually and collectively. And the individual one I'll show you in a minute. It shows that you care as the boss. The fact that you want everybody to climb and at the very top you're going to celebrate somehow and nobody knows. And bear in mind, you may lose people along the way. So if you don't celebrate these little victories, people may either crack under pressure, find that you're not a caring boss or whatever it happens to be. So you may lose them, in which case that jeopardizes the overall um, success. You need to recognize during this process either individuals or teams for the success or the contribution they have made at a particular time. And this is often 
overlooked or underestimated, but for me it's one of the most important ones. It's a time when it gives people access to you. Remember, you're up here as the leader, wherever up here happens to be relative to the others. They don't often have the chance to speak to you, connect with you, whether it's through because you're traveling, you're really busy, you're in meetings, whatever it happens to be, or there are different layers between you and them, it gives access to other people. And they can then get up to you and share a drink or have a chat. It means the world to them. But you have to go out and find them as well to achieve that. So don't underestimate the access. How would you do this? So a few examples of that. Firstly, and most importantly, set time aside. Don't just rush it in between two meetings. Yes, you may have a meeting afterwards, but make sure that you have the appropriate time, whether it's one hour, one and a half hours, you make the decision. I've had many different varieties of that. Invite everyone. Now, inevitably, if it's Zoom or at a distance, you may have to do individual ones, but invite everybody. Let's say they're in the same building or in the same office or in the same country. I've invited my teams from throughout the country to come and join us for a particular event, obviously paid by the, by the company, that goes without saying. You can do a speech, but if you're not big into speeches, just say a simple thank you. It just could be three words, um, welcome, thank you, if you want to be as short as that. But I encourage you to say a bit more. And as a leader, as I've told you in the past, you need to be able to speak and communicate. Leaders need to do that. So it may not be a big speech, but nonetheless, it is something where you have got to express your thanks, your appreciation for the team. And so you're going to have to stand up and say something to the team. How you do this as well? Well, you can consider bonuses depending on whether the team, the company allows you to do that. And a bonus could be a voucher or it could be financial, you know, some sort of reward. It could just be time off. You give them a few hours, half a day, a day, whatever. Be creative in here. This is a great joy. This is a moment when you can really, really connect with your team and it'll make such a difference to them and of course to you as well. So don't forget to do it. And then you may say, okay, finally, well, what do I do? I'm not sufficiently creative. Trust me, there are numerous ways. And the easiest way very often is to ask your PA or EA, executive assistant or personal assistant, or indeed members of the team. There, I've always had individuals who just love to be able to create some of these events. So we'd have drinks, snacks, cakes. We might have a meal out. We could do an evening event. Um, we did one where we, we uh, hired, um, although it was close to Christmas anyway, but we hired um, a bus for two hours and we had a disco, disco night. So a few drinks and whatever, and then you, for two hours, the bus goes around the city and you just have a lot of fun. It was absolutely cool and amazing. Or you can tag it on with annual events. In France, we have what's called the Galette des Rois. And it's basically, um, you have in some other countries, um, Spain, the Netherlands, it's like the Six Kings. Um, so it's that time in January, where it's a particular event here in, in France and you could bring members of your family in, uh, they can then enjoy it and there's a whole process around it. But we also had very simple things of just drinks. So we had champagne maybe, um, a few uh, little, you know, some bread and cheese and wine and just a couple of hours at the end of the day in the office, just have a bit of fun and relaxed. And the amazing thing about it is it's a way to encourage each other because that's the objective. The objective is, of these honoring small victories is that you get up the following day and everybody's motivated and ready to go to the next level, whatever that level or plateau looks like. So I encourage you very strongly to consider how you can look at the little things, enjoy the moment, and you will see great, great dividends from it. Go crazy, have some great ideas, wonderful ideas in doing that. I certainly hope it's left you with some thoughts. Please feel free to like, comment and share. And of course, subscribe to the channel. And I look forward to speaking to you again very soon. Until the next time, thank you.